Naam hali gani ni karibu katika matangazo ya moja kwa moja kutoka ndani ya balozi Marekani. Naitwa Mohamed Mvumbagu na huu ni msimu wa pili ambapo tunakujia na mambo kem kem. Na leo niko na bwana William Mwinuka ambaye atakuwa anazungumzia masuala ya mafunzo ya Kiingereza kwa njia ya mtandao. Karibu. Naam, habari yako bwana William Mwinuka na karibu sana katika studio zetu hapa balozi Marekani. Nzuri kabisa Mariana. Naam. Safi, wewe cheo chako ni rais. Ndiyo. Kuna marais wangapi nchini? Marais ni wengi lakini uh-huh. pia nategemea ni rais wa nini. Kwa hiyo wewe ni rais wa kitu gani? Mimi ni rais wa chama cha walimu wa Kiingereza Tanzania. Chama cha walimu wa Kiingereza Tanzania ambacho kinasimamiwa na watu gani hapo? Ni walimu wa Kiingereza, wataalamu wa Kiingereza kwa maana ya walimu wa shule za msingi. Walimu wenyewe ndio wanasimamia program yao. Walimu wenyewe wanasimamia. Okay, na labda wewe unafanya uchaguzi kila baada ya muda gani? Miaka mitatu na unaweza kugombea tena ukachaguliwa ikawa sita juu. Kwa hiyo tupo katika kampeni ama tumeshamaliza mchakato. Mwakani mkani kampeni tu sivili mkani <laughs> asante sana leo tunazungumzia masuala ya mafunzo ya Kiingereza kwa njia ya mtandao mm-hmm. na labda ni kitu gani ambacho uh, mmekiandaa kwa ajili ya walimu wa Kiingereza ni kwa ajili ya walimu wa Kiingereza peke yake ama ni kwa hata watu ambao si walimu wa Kiingereza uh, kwanza labda sio ku kukiandaa tayari ni vitu ambavyo vinafanyika mm-hmm. vimeshaanza kufanyika kwa muda mrefu sasa mm-hmm. na walimu wa Tanzania wamekuwa kifaidika nazo mm-hmm. um, kwa asilimia kubwa ni walimu wa Kiingereza lakini kuna time inatokea walimu wa masomo mengine hasa science na, na mathematics na hesabu mm. wanafaidika pia. Na hii nje ya mtandao mafunzo yanakuja kwa namna gani? Mara nyingi ni ni program za ofisi za Kiingereza DC. Kwa hivyo walimu wetu tunawaandikisha, mimi nilikuwa nimefanya kazi hiyo tunazungumzia Marekani ndio. Da na ofisi ya Rilo tunatafuta walimu walimu wanaokuwa interested mm. lakini lazima tujue kwamba wako committed mm-hmm. na moja kati ya challenge imekuwa mtandao hatuwezi pia kuwa na mwalimu ambaye anafanya online courses kama mtandao wake uko weak kwa hivyo lakini tunapata walimu wengi walimu wako very active kwa sasa na wanafanya vizuri okay. ndio na tukizungumzia idadi ya walimu ambao wapo chama cha walimu wa Kiingereza kuna idadi ya kama walimu ngapi maelfu kwa maelfu kwa sababu mwanzo ilikuwa shule au chuo kinatoa pesa membership fee mm. ada ya ya wanachama alafu walimu wote wa pale automatically wanakuwa wanachama wa Delta lakini mm-hmm. sasa mwalimu mwenyewe anatakiwa mambo yamebadilika kama unavyojua yeah. kwa hivyo mwalimu mwenyewe anatakiwa atoe anatoe um, ada ya wanachama yeah. alafu awe mwanachama kamili kamili lakini utashangazwa kwa sababu pamoja na kwamba watu wanatakiwa walipe wale wanachama kamili kamili sisi tunafikia walimu wote hata wale ambao hawajalipa mimi ni mwalimu wa Kiingereza ambaye nataka kuweza kuingia katika chama alafu niweze kupata mafunzo ya mtandao. Ni lazima niwe kwenye chama niweze kupata mafunzo ya mtandao, sivyo? Hapana. Sio lazima. Sisi lengo letu ni, ni, ni jina nafikiri lina sound kama walimu wa Kiingereza pekee au lazima uwe mwanachama tayari. Mm-hmm. Lakini lengo letu hasa ni walimu wote. Na tunafikia walimu wote nchi. Na mimi kama mwalimu wa Kiingereza ambaye sipo katika chama niweze kupata mafunzo kwa njia ya mtandao. Tunasisitiza walimu ambao wanakuja tayari waweze kutoa taarifa kuhusu vitu tunavyofanya kwa sababu sisi kikweli hatuwezi kufikia kila mtu pale alipo shule kwake mm-hmm. lakini wale wachache ambao tayari tumekutana tume nao tumewaomba mara kadhaa wapeleke taarifa lakini pia tunashukuru kwa sababu ofisi ya Rilo ya eh, ubalozi wa Marekani mm-hmm. imekuwa ikifanya juhudi kabisa kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba tunawafikia hawa watu kwa liko na tumefanya tumefanikiwa umezungumzia Rilo kutoka ubalozi wa Marekani yenyewe ina shughulika vipi na ina uh, inahusika vipi katika chama cha walimu wa Kiingereza? Asilimia mia ya funding ya program zote tunafanya sasa inatoka ofisi ya Kiingereza ubalozi wa Marekani. Kwa hivyo ni mdau namba moja kwa sasa. Tumekuwa na wengine miaka nyuma lakini sasa ofisi ya Kiingereza ubalozi wa Marekani ndio inafanya funding zote. Kwa hivyo movement zote tunazofanya za kuwafikia walimu mm. ni kwa sababu ofisi ya Kiingereza ubalozi wa Marekani ilitoa pesa kufanya hivyo. Tumezoea kuona mafunzo kwa njia ya posta. Wapo wengi wanatumiwa baadhi ya vitabu, baadhi ya materials zingine ili waweze kuweza kufundishia ama kujifunza vile vile. Labda nyinyi mnatumia nje ya mtandao kwa mtu kujigaramia mwenyewe gharama za mtandao ama mnakuwa mnatoa huduma pia ya vituo maalum kwa ajili ya walimu kwenda kujifunza. Kwanza ni, nianze kwa kusema huwa ni bure kabisa. Hizi mm. uh, program zote ni bure. Inawezekana sio bure kwa maana ya wale wanaotoa ufadhili lakini kwa walimu wa Kiingereza hawalipiki chochote. Um, kwa hivyo tuna, tunajitahidi uh, kuona kwamba tunawafikia kwa, kwa level hiyo ambayo wa Tanzania wengi wangependa kufaidika. Um, lakini pili 
um, nikumbushe ulizungumza kuhusu nimezungumzia kuhusu uh, resources jinsi zile upatikanaji wake ulivyo ni kwamba kwa njia ya posta huo wanapelekewa material wanatumiwa kwa posta wanaweza kupokea na kuweza kujifunza nyinyi mnavyokuwa mna deliver mnavyokuwa mnatoa hii huduma mna vituo maalum vya kuweza ku, kwenda pale wale kujifunza ama mnatoa misaada ya vitu kama uh, modem za internet labda kompyuta katika baadhi ya mashule ili waweze kujifunza au wanatumia gharama zao na material ziko na namna mbalimbali mm. namna ya kwanza uh, ni ile mwalimu ambaye anafikiwa pale alipo kwa mfano kuna program inaitwa facebook mm. uh, ambao wanafanya webinar mwalimu anakuwa marekani walimu wa kiingereza tanzania wako kule walikokuwa na wanaweza kuona kupitia simu zao za mkononi Sao, lakini sana. program hiyo hiyo pia huwa tunawashauri walimu wa kutane wawe sehemu moja kwa sababu umuhimu wa kukutana kwa sehemu moja ni kwa sababu wanaweza kuanza kufanya kipindi kabla kijaanza kule Washington mm. na wakafanya baada ya kuwa kile kipindi kimeisha kwa kuna kuna majadiliano kadhaa kati ya hao watu hapa lakini ya pili ambao ni muhimu zaidi na hii tumeanza hivi karibuni Ah, tena ofisi ya Kiingereza ya Uwezo wa Marekani mm-hmm. ilitunulia ilitusaidia kununua projector vifaa ambavyo vinatusaidia tumepeleka katika mikoa nne Tanzania walimu watakutana kwenye vile vituo patakuwa na, na session inaendeshwa Dar es Salaam American Corner tena alafu walimu wataona kule walikokuwa au watashirikiana ndani ya maktaba kuu ya taifa ndani ya maktaba kuu ya taifa ndio kwa hivyo walimu walioko kwenye hiyo mikoa 14 nilikwambia wanashiriki moja kwa moja kwa dakika ile ile anaoshiriki mwalimu wa Dar es Salaam ambaye anamuona huyo uh, mkufunzi moja kwa moja na wanapata nafasi ya kuuliza maswali kuchangia uja zao yani kama vile wako na sisi Sao, yani sao. vile tu wao wako mkoa teknolojia imeshakuruka dunia kwa kati ya kijana kabisa kabisa kwa tofauti ya, ya tunachofanya sisi na elimu kwa njia ya posta kama sisi tunafika dakika ile ile lakini ile kwa njia ya posta unataka baasha unataka uende posta posta aliseme wiki mbili wiki mbili zipite hujapata na labda ilipotea ni tofauti sasa hivi tunaenda kumwangalia um, William Mwinuka wakati akiwa katika mafunzo nchini Marekani wakati akizungumza na wadau wanaofahamu Kiingereza na walimu wataalamu wa Kiingereza kule akielezea uzoefu wake katika lugha ya Kiingereza I am president now of the Tanzania and English Language Teachers Association and I'll say one thing that contributed to that was e teacher courses. I train teachers and I am great at that because you know I've been in those courses. I help the English language office at the American Embassy with the webinars and the MOOCs and I'll say they all are a lot to who I am. Naam, ndio kwanza unajiunga nasi basi hii ni ubalozi leo. Nami ni Mohamed Vumbagu na hapa niko na rais wa chama cha walimu uh, wa Kiingereza nchini Tanzania. Nimepatia. Ndio. Asante sana. Maana neno rais lazima ulitetemekee kidogo. Cheo kikubwa, ndio. Na hii ni ubalozi leo kutoka na ubalozi wa Marekani. Katika katika hatua ambayo inafuata tutakuwa tuko na Laura Shayo ambaye yeye ni mratibu wa program ya masuala uh, ya Uh, kiingereza kutoka ndani ya za Marekani akiwa na mgeni wakizungumzia kuhusu habari hii lakini kwa kimombo Karibu sehemu ya pili ya ubalozi leo kwa majina naitwa Laura Shayo kutoka ofisi ya Kiingereza hapa ubalozini Marekani sehemu yetu ya pili tunaenda kufanya mahojiano kwa lugha ya Kiingereza tuko na mgeni wetu hapa studioni Kate Kate, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Kate Bain and I work in Washington DC for the Office of English Language Programs and I work primarily on the American English e-teacher program which has to do with online courses. Um, so thank you so much Laura for having me. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you so much Kate. Can you tell us a little bit about what e-teacher programs are? Sure, yeah, the American English e-teacher program has many online courses for teachers around the world. Um, so we offer courses like teaching English for young learners, um, professional development for teacher training, and many other different topics. Um, our office, the Office of English Language Programs at the U.S. Department of State, works with an organization called FHI 360, and with United States universities to develop these courses. 
and then we offer them through U.S. embassies to teachers around the world. Wow, wow. So who participates in this program? Uh, regional English language officers, like the one here in Dar es Salaam, George Chinnery, will nominate a participant to take part in one of our online courses, and that participant will maybe be a teacher um, in a local area. So maybe they are a teacher at a secondary school, maybe they teach at a university, maybe they teach at primary schools. We have really a very broad audience of English language teaching professionals who take part in our courses. Wow. So are there available courses for a broader audience? Yeah, so m our key program is for small um, groups of teachers. So for example, we'll have one course maybe on something like integrating critical thinking in the language classroom, and that's for 25 teachers. So as you can imagine, there are so many people around the world who would like to take our course, but those courses, which are eight weeks long, are only for 25 teachers. So we do offer other courses called Massive Open Online Courses, and those are available, as it sounds, for anyone and for thousands of people. So, for example, currently we have a course open on our program that is actually the integrating for critical thinking, integrating critical thinking skills in the English language classroom, mm -hmm. and that one is open for anyone who would like to participate. Um, so that's one example of a massive open online course. So you can just go to our website and register, and you can find us there. So any any teacher can register for massive open online courses is that what you mean exactly yeah so any teacher can rec can register for a massive open online course mm -hmm. but if you'd like to participate in a smaller cohort which we call a global online course you should contact um, your regional english language office or your local in uh, local U.S. Embassy to find out more information. Wow, this is interesting. Thank you, thank you. So how are the teachers recognized once yeah. they do these courses? So our global online courses are eight weeks and our massive open online courses are five weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and teachers who complete and pass these courses are eligible to receive an e-certificate for their participation that is um, from the U.S. Embassy and from the Department of State and from mm -hmm. the University um, who created the course. They also can receive a digital badge, and a digital badge is like an online certificate. Mm -hmm. You can put it on your LinkedIn profile, you can put it on your electronic CV, and it's sort of like an image with a link that has information about the course that you took. So, so what is the purpose of that? The purpose of a digital badge, so with a certificate, of course, you can show your administrator the your certificate, they maybe will um, count it towards something that will help you in your profession. Mm -hmm. A digital badge is very similar. It's sort of the new certificate. So a digital badge you cannot lose. It is always around. If you lose your paper certificate, that's too bad. If you, But for a digital badge it's always going to be sort of in the cloud or online for you to access and show other people what you've achieved. Are there other opportunities available? Yeah, so in addition to the American English e-teacher program with our longer courses, mm -hmm. we also have very short one-hour American English webinars that we're really happy to offer again to the whole world. So people here in this region can um, access American English webinars just by going to our Facebook page. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash American English for Educators. And you can go to that page, you can follow it, and you can see all of our events for our webinars. The next one um, is on September 4th, and anyone can participate. If you participate in four out of six webinars, so each series has six webinars, and if you participate in four out of six, again, you can receive an e-certificate for your participation but it's a little bit less time for you to um, commit to. And so on behalf of my office and the U.S. Department of State, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you for being selected 
to attend the 2019 TESOL International Convention and as well for being American English eTeacher Program alumni. So we're going to give all of you a round of applause. Naam, huyo alikuwa ni Laura Shayo akiwa na mgeni Kate kutoka ubalozi uh, wa Marekani ndani hapa lakini vile vile pia yeye akiwa ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya Kiingereza kutoka kule uh, nchini Marekani. Yes, Niko na Laura Shayo hapa tukiwa tunahitimisha uh, kipindi chetu cha leo. Laura, hivi kati ya mambo ambayo umezungumzia William na Kate, uh, unaweza ukahitimisha vipi kwa kifupi? Uh, labda ni wasi wa Tanzania hususan ni walimu wa Kiingereza wafahamu ya kwamba uh, zipo hizi program za Kiingereza kwa njia ya mtandao kwa ajili ya kujiendeleza wao binafsi kama walivyozitaja William pamoja na Kate labda ni seme tu kuna e-teacher program ambayo ni ya wiki nane mpaka 12 mm -hmm. kuna MOOCs ya yani massive open online courses ambazo hizo ni program za wiki tano na ni kwa kila mtu ambaye yuko tayari kujiunga lakini pia kuna webinar American English Live hizi mm -hmm. ni workshop fupi fupi uh, kwa muda wa lisali moja na pia zipo nyingine mpya aliyotaja William lisali moja la dakika 30. Uh, ukitaka kufahamu zaidi jo hizi programs na nilini ipi na kuwepo ni vizuri kutembelea uh, um, um, Facebook page yetu ambapo mara zote huwa tunatangaza pale kuna program gani na inaanza lini na namna ya kufanya registration ambayo ni Rilo East Africa Facebook sawa sawa wakati tunazungumza na Kate nilikuwa nikisikiliza ile uh, ladha ya lugha pale elimu ndimi zilizokuwa zinaranda uh, mm -hmm. katika lugha ya Kiingereza nikatamani sana nikatamani siku moja mimi niweze kuzungumza Kiingereza uh, lazima niwe mwalimu sijui ili niweze kujifunza na mimi lakini kuwa mwalimu Muhammad kwa sababu pia kwenye program zetu tuna course kwa ajili ya wanafunzi wa Kiingereza na pia tuna resources nyingi kwa ajili ya wanafunzi wa Kiingereza kujifunza na sawa, kujiendeleza sawa. zaidi. Siri ni kwamba nilikuwa chia uweze kuongea na Kate kwa sababu unajua mimi nikiongea pale the the inakuwa tatizo lingine tena. Asante sana kwa kwa hiyo ambao umetutegea sikio kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho matangazo haya kupitia redio wa shirika. Lakini asante sana pia kwa kuweza kutufuatilia kupitia kwa Facebook, kwa site wa Instagram lakini pia kuna sawa wetu wa Twitter kupitia US Embassy TZ. Usisahau kusubscribe kwenye YouTube channel yetu US Embassy. Season. Paka wakati mwingine kwa heri kwa sasa. Mm -hmm.